promise you that after you watch this video you will 100 guaranteed be a better shooter all of these tips that i'm about to give you will make you a better shooter on any build it doesn't matter your three-point rating your height your weight etc it does not matter right now in front of me i have a list of all the tips that i'm gonna give you we're gonna go over each one one by one and break each one down this will be the best shooting tutorial you will ever watch you can turn $100 into $2,500. You can do this with prize picks. Prize picks is super easy to use. You select your players. Let's just do a six pick with all the quarterbacks tonight. You then select more or less and then place your entry. So if you get six correct, it's a 25 X. And even if you get one wrong and get five correct, you are still doubling your cash. Click the link in description, use code YOUNGDIRK, and prize picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Yes, they will match your first deposit up to $100. Do not miss out on this opportunity. Go and get your deposit match right now. Thank you to prize picks for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into it. All right, you guys, I really want you to pay attention to every tip I give you so you can truly become a better shooter on this game. My first tip for you guys is gonna seem like common sense, but no, bro, this is super important. This right here is what separates a good shooter from a great shooter. We're talking about your shot placement and knowing what's a good and bad shot. I see people pass up the easiest open shots all the time and they didn't even know it was open. And then on the other end, I see people take horrible shots and they think they're open good shots when they just aren't. You don't wanna be either of these types of people if you guys didn't know this the contest system changes every 2k you need to learn and adapt every 2k and the contest system is a big factor to determine what is a good or bad shot i'm gonna show you a few examples so i can teach you how to identify a truly good open shot first example is right here the first question i want you guys to ask yourself is would you shoot this shot okay would you or would you not shoot that shot? The next question is, do you think this was a good or a bad shot? And then the final question, what was the contest? Was it a five? Was it a 10? Was it a 20? You tell me. Well, this jump shot was an amazing shot and it was open, an open jump shot that most people would never shoot and would never even think it's an open shot. And I know some of you are like, Dirk, what does this have to do with identifying an open shot? I'm getting to that, okay? Anytime somebody is a foot away from you, on your hip especially, that is wide open or an open shot. A very good example, and I'm gonna get into the other key factor of an open shot right here. This dude is right on me, but he's not, bro. Look at the look. He's like a foot away. He's like on my side. And the most important part, hands down. Have you guys ever heard, hand down, man down? Yes, bro, it's the same thing. It applies to 2K, bro. He's a foot away. He's not really guarding me. He's on my side, not directly in front of me. And his hands are down. This is a wide open jump shot. You guys need to learn and understand that if someone is a foot and a half, a foot, two feet away from you and they have their hands down, shoot the ball. You are wide open. Let me show you some catch and shoots. The same thing applies. Just watch you guys. It's the same thing. These are all open good shots. I have my teammates perspective in here too on a few shots that he took. These are all great shots a foot to two away their hands are down they're trying to contest late excuse my friend for missing half of his legs but that's not the point even if they contest late the game will register as open because the ball has already left your hands now you know what's a good shot and an open shot how do you improve on this make sure your shot feedback is on so you can see the contests on your jump shots I want you to use your shot feedback to trial and error and try riskier shots that you normally wouldn't take so you can learn and see for yourself what is a good or a bad shot. 
This next tip is crucial to become an elite shooter. It also seems like common sense, but no, 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 it is not. People are clueless about this and I see people making this mistake every time I hop on the game. Are you ready for it? It is knowing how to properly set your feet and how to quick stop. You need to know how to do this so you don't accidentally gather or fade every time you get open off of a dribble move and accidentally shoot in early because you were expecting a jump shot. Pay attention, I'm gonna slow down some clips and show you exactly how to do this. Now there is a difference between setting your feet and quick stopping. Setting your feet is a lot easier than quick stopping, so I'll show you how to set your feet first. Forgot to mention, if you are right-handed, it is easier to set your feet going to the left, and if you are left-handed, it is easier to set your feet going to the right. The good news is setting your feet is really easy, and most people assume you can only set your feet on guards. No, that is not true. You can set your feet on bigs as well. The same instructions will apply to bigs and guards, it's just the bigs can't speed boost. Now guards, if you don't know how to speed boost, I have my dribble tutorial in the description. Highly recommend checking that out after the video, and if you just want better dribble moves, I highly recommend checking it out as well. Let's say you are doing your move to the left side and you want to set your feet on the left. After you hit your speed boost and dribble the ball a couple of times, you're going to let go of everything wait a half a second and then shoot the ball. It is that easy. And if you're going right, you're gonna hit your speed boost slash move, do your dribbles, let go of everything, wait a half a second and shoot the ball. I'm gonna explain one more time, then we're gonna get into the quick stop. You do your move to the right or the left. You let go of everything. So you're not touching turbo or your sticks. Wait a quarter of a second to a half of a second and shoot the ball. If you shoot a gather or a fade, that means you shot the ball too fast and didn't wait long enough. Now for the quick stop. It's a little more complicated and it requires a little more practice, but it is way better. And once you learn this, you will have an edge over your opponents. It's the same concept as setting your feet. It's just a lot quicker, a lot better, and it's very unexpected. Okay, so look how much faster this is than setting your feet. It is super hard to predict and super hard to guard. Let's say I'm going right, left around the screen, hitting all my moves, doing a burst of speed, burst of speed, back and forth, back and forth. They don't know when I'm going to shoot. With the quick stop, you can shoot out of anything. So the defender's gonna have a really tough time predicting when you're about to shoot your shot. And that's why the quick stop is so effective. Unfortunately, this is only for guards and not bigs. So here's how you do it. You're gonna hit your move. After the first bounce hits the floor, you're going to let go of everything. Wait a quarter second and shoot it. Like I said, it's almost the same thing as setting your feet. It's just a lot quicker and the timing is a lot more precise. Again, you're hitting your move. As soon as the ball bounces, you're letting go of everything. You're waiting a quarter of a second, maybe even less, and shooting the ball and you will get the quick stop animation. Again, if you shoot a gather or a fade, you are doing it too fast. Slow it down. A new shooting cheat code was added into 2K24 this year called Lethal Zones. And NBA 2K Labs just finished their test on them. And as you can see, lethal zones are cracked out hot zones. The make percentage all around is dramatically increased. So these lethal zones are extremely important. I'm going to show you how to unlock them. And if you aren't using NBA 2K Labs, I don't know what you're doing. They drop and test the statistically best jump shots in the game all year round. The link will be in the description. And if you sign up, make sure you use the code Dirk for a discount. 10 out of 10 recommend. I personally use them myself. So you are going to go here. The art of shooting gym by lethal shooter it is right there once you walk in you're gonna walk up to lethal shooter and as you can see you can see your hot zones and your cold zones and the lethal zones will be purple I want to get rid of this cold zone and I want to make the bottom left a lethal zone when you do the drill it'll upgrade your zone by a tier so cold to neutral neutral to hot 
hot to lethal. You're then gonna just make all your shots from the spots you pick. It is 10 shots. You just call for the ball and shoot it. And once you are done, you will see that your zones will upgrade and you can only do this once a week, unfortunately. That's the only downside. But now as you can see, my cold spot is away and I now have a lethal zone. And just to confirm, you can see it here as well. This next tip is very, very, very important. You are not going to shoot with muscle memory. You're going to shoot with your eyes. You're going to shoot with your visual cue. Dirk, what is the visual cue you speak of? As you guys know, to shoot the ball, you hold down square or X, right? And you let go when you think it's a green, right? So your visual cue is the same thing, but you're looking visually for the release point instead of relying on your brain and your muscle memory. If you can visually see where you're supposed to green, you're gonna green way more. And all of the best players, this is how they shoot. Here's an example on my jump shot, which I will leave the best jump shots for all builds in the description. Go check that out after you watch this video. So my visual cue on my jump shot is when my elbow starts to extend. It's like right there. So every time I shoot, I look for that spot and that is where I release it. Now, how do you identify your visual cue? You just practice, bro. Look where you're releasing the ball when you green it. Practice makes perfect, fellas. Now that you understand visual cue, you need a good jump shot. Now, what makes a good jump shot? In my opinion, it is the fastest shot possible that has an easy visual cue. Why is fast good? It gives your opponent less time to contest when you shoot. When your shot is contested, your odds of greening are lowered. You want to shoot as many open shots as you can and give the defender less time to contest. You might wanna try out a few jump shots because you want to find the best jump shot that is easiest for you and has the easiest visual cue for you. Just because my jump shot has an easy visual cue for me does not mean it's an easy easy visual cue for you. Again, all the best jump shots for all the builds are in the description. And if you want the best jump shots all year, use NBA 2K Lab. The link to that is in the description as well. Did you know that once your takeover meter starts to fill up, your attributes are boosted? Yes, the more takeover you have, the more your attributes are boosted, even if you don't have takeover yet. And I don't know if you guys noticed this, but takeover this year, sharp takeover is beyond overpowered and is broken. You can shoot from super deep. You can fade from super deep, regardless of your three point rating. I have a friend with a 75 three point rating that was fading from almost half court. Like it's insane this year. It's it's broken play smart don't troll and don't force up bad shots you get a lot of takeover this year for assists so play smart play the right way get that takeover up and get that boost on your shots then once you have sharp takeover if you applied all these tips in the video you should be chicken you shouldn't miss the next tip I have for you guys is your stamina. Dirk, how does stamina have anything to do with shooting? If your stamina bar is less than 50%, it starts to slow down your shot. And the lower it is, the harder it is to time. So essentially, the more stamina that you have, the easier it is to shoot. When you're out on the court cooking up moves, make sure you're paying attention to that stamina that you're not draining too much. Now, I recommend doing your Gatorade boosts every week. Make sure you always have this. This gives you an extra bar of stamina. I want you guys to turn your shot meter off. This gives you a 20% green window boost. If you don't know what your green window is, it's the timing window in which you can get a green on your jump shot. So a 20% boost is well worth it. If you need to use the shot meter, that's okay. I want you to apply all the tips in this video, practice with the shot meter on, and then when you get your timing down, turn that shot meter off so you can get that green window boost. Or to be honest, I would just turn it off right now and get to practicing because it is well worth it. You want that 20% boost, but it's up to you. Whatever makes shooting easier for you is what I want you to do at the end of the day. This next one is gonna sound cliche, but it's to practice. Last year on 23, I could not shoot for like the first week. So what did I do? I went in the Gatorade facility 
and I went in there every day for a week or two and shot for just 20 minutes, bro. I practiced my visual cue and I got it down. It's easy, bro. Practice makes perfect. If you're struggling to shoot right now, apply these tips, practice them, practice your visual cue, and you will be a better shooter. There isn't anything else to it. Apply these tips, practice, and the results will speak for themselves. This next tip is once you find a jump shot that works, keep it do not change your jump shot that is where people screw up they'll have an off day and be like man this jump shot sucks no bro it doesn't suck you're just having an off day bro don't change it once you get that jump shot down and you're shooting good with it keep it as soon as you start to go back and forth between shots that's where you're going to screw up last year i literally used the same exact shot from january to the end of the year it was a good shot i knew it perfectly i had no reason to change it even when i had an off day i still kept the same shot on 2k does not patch jump shots that is literally a myth if you want the best jump shots for all builds it's on screen right now hope you guys enjoyed this drop a like if it helped have a good day go out <laughs>